Yeah, hello everybody. Um, we're not going to stop talking about the ills that plague our society. And if, anytime some of us that at least have some level of voice in the society come across the situations, I think it will be due diligence to speak about it because we can never tire of speaking about the wrong things that we experience just because we think things will change. At some point, something will give. So on Friday, my friend called me and he was like, oh, Sean, um, he has a club appearance. I go, like, you know, let's hang out together. And I was happy. You know, normally I don't go out with people like that. So, but for him, it was, I was really happy to go because he's a good person. So we were in a three-car convoy, right? Um, we had escorts, like, you know, detailed escorts with guns and all that. And... At some point on our way, I, I drove my car because I wanted to go home directly after the whole program. So I was at the back of my friend's car and the leader escort with security was in front. And at some point there was a big pothole and I drive a car. My friend drives a, 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 a truck and they maneuvered and they went away and I took my time. All of a sudden I saw these people run out. Well, not necessarily, not necessarily run. They were there, they were just getting out of the car, and it was this chaos. You know, it was very chaotic, and I, 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 for a moment I thought it was... I didn't even know what to think. I thought it was maybe robbers. I was just confused. And they just got in front of me, and I saw they stopped the car, and they just said, come out, come out, and they opened, you know, the passenger door. And I had someone in the car with me that was part of my friend's crew, you know, like he's an artist, so he was dressed funky and all that. And they dragged him out. And they started questioning him. Where are you coming from? Where are you going? And I said, oh, I'm with the car in front. I said, what convoy? And they started pointing their guns menacingly. Now, I was very calm under the situation because I was expecting that one day I will come in contact with these people. So I was very prepared. <clears throat> so they asked the guy to come down and he got in the car with me. And he started opening my glove compartment saying, oh, what, what are you, what are you doing? This is, I was looking at him. When it was done, I was like, what do you want? I was like, what do I mean? Why am I asking him what he wants? That, you know, while he was talking, I saw the guy they brought out. They had started, <laughs> they had started searching his phone, asking him stupid questions. These were SARS operatives. How long will this go on for? Why are we living this way as a society? Now the sec they violated that guy's privacy. Like I felt I, I got out of the car. I, at some point he now started talking, like, what are you? I said, Well, this is my name. Like, well, where's your ID card? He said, where, where are you from? They're not from this place. I said, well, um, not really. He said, are you from South Africa? They're from South Africa. I said, no, I'm not from South Africa. I'm from America. I now saw that his countenance kind of changed. Now I said, well, well. I now said, so why did you, why are you looking through that guy's phone? He said, well, you know, it was just, they were just <laughs> Nigerians. There's trouble, though. There's problem. These people are not listening to us. They can't hear us. <laughs> Things will not change. Things will not change. If we keep sitting down complacently, nothing will change. These people, they have no regard for us. They have no regard for us. Somebody has to do something about the Nigerian police. We are begging. Before things get out of hand. We're begging. The people have the power. The people just don't know how much power they have now. Because we've been beaten, beaten down so badly that even wrong seems right to us. We don't even know what is wrong or what is right. Because we're, we've been so oppressed for so long that abnormality seems normal to us. Curb the menace of the police first. I hope somebody important sees this video and curbs it now before it gets too late. Power belongs to the people. The people just don't know it yet.
when they finally see that they had power all this while, everybody will be brought to justice.